My late father-in-law left some pictures, and the subject was um, British cavalry charging up a hill into barbed wire. It was important to me, and right from the outset, to write a story which was a look at the universal suffering of that war and any war. I was reading some Michael Moore Pergo stories, and my mum said to me, have you read the one about a horse in the First World War? And it was War Horse, it was an extraordinary story, and I immediately thought, maybe this is the story for which handspring puppets could create that definitive puppet that is going to play a leading role. The thing that intrigued me most, a horse going into war and seeing a war through the eyes of an animal. So the neutrality of the animal, the, the way it didn't make judgments about any situation was what appealed to me. It appeals to such a wide range of audience. There's something in it for everyone and everyone seems to love it. Now the National Theatre and a very special moment for the Queen. We're at Lincoln Center Theatre to celebrate opening night of this theatrical event. It's unbelievable. The work that the puppeteers do is so remarkable. This spellbinding show's theme speaks to audiences of every age. It's absolutely incredible. I see it again and again and again. The Tony Award goes to... War Horse. War Horse. War Horse. War Horse. going to be going out to the public all over and I love that it's going places that it did not tour before where people haven't seen it and I think that's wonderful.